So the Carlos Copters today we've got the Eastie's Flash model rocket. And um, this rocket is an actual flying rocket, easy to do, snap together assembly, and it can fly up to 900 feet, which is 274 apparently meters. Anyway, from the side here, this is great, guys. It shows you lift off stage two, climbing phase, stage three, ejection, the parachute. Four, recovery, and five, landing. The box is cool, shows you at the back there a nice selection of rockets and also shows you what you get when it's all set up. Anyway, let's have a look what you get in the box. So, let's have a look what you get, guys, in the box. Get this bit. This looks like the rear tail section of the rocket. We'll have a look in a sec. You get two metal rods. Okay. Ah, instructions. Hey, complete with a guarantee there. Guarantee card. There you go. There you go, guys. One year's guarantee. That's cool. The rocket, it's also got a parachute, some decals. Oh. Nothing else in the box, it's like a magic trick. Then we get a metal plate thing. Plate there, yeah, definitely metal. This is not there, so bloody oak broken up. And this is the launch pad with a expiring mechanism. So that's what you get, guys. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at this rocket. Oh, the packets are really tight. Should have used the magic scissors. What's that? Oh, I've got, got two tubes here. This is obviously the main body of the tube of the rocket. Some holes pre done in there. A little tube there. And then you get a That's the nose cone of the rocket. Well, so I imagine that fits on like that. You see that, folks? There's your decals, flash, and some lightning things on it. Yeah, you get some rubber bands. That's obviously for the nose cone. A little parachute. You get some stabilizer fins. How many of these do you get? You get four of these. No, you don't. You get three of these. Three fins. Oh, yeah, three fins. You get three fins. Uh, you get this section, which I presume is for stabilizer fins to fit on in the engine casing, perhaps for the rocket. I don't know. Not looked at it yet. The instructions. Get instructions. Let's open these up. Oh, that'll do. So you get it like that, see? Oh, 
Okay, I've got some instructions. Put the plastic over there. You get a little brochure. And it shows you. Shows you. Want a rocket program for your school? Mm, that's not bad. I might send that off myself to be honest. You get some little jets there. Rockets. Air rockets. And then you get these rockets. These are the proper rockets. Look at that. Look at all the engines on that thing. No, it doesn't tell you how high it goes. Rockets. There's an air rocket there, folks. I'll, I'll send off for that, guys. <laughs> There's a warranty card. Is warranted against defects. I won't know what the defects are until it's in the air. What else do we get? Oh. Warranty card again, but in a different language. Uh, what's this? How to build the launch pad. I think it goes higher, I don't know. That's in a different language. Check that there. What's this one? How to uh, install your firing mechanism, electronic starter, whatever. Okay, there's more things here. How to build the rocket, guys, this thing won't be. how it all goes together. It's not rocket science is it? Or is it? And then you've got all that. Hope this is in English. Hope they sent me an English one. There you go. English version. Now we're talking. What's this here? There's a lot of paperwork with this, tell you. Your safety. Yep. What's this? Flash rocket shock cords, engine mounting tube. Alright. This is the English version as well. There's lots of take in there. Then, what else do we have? <laughs> then we've got these rocket platform legs. Rocket, rocket platform legs. Where's the? This bit here must be the rocket platform section. Legs must slot into these. And imagine. And then Oh yeah, now we're talking. Safety instructions. Look at this. This is the uh, ignition system. And it works like there's the key. Doesn't look much, you know. Put that in there. Light comes on. Ignition. Get a decent amount of cord with it. You get some little crocodile clips. You see those guys? See them? Nip, nip, nip. Uh, it takes batteries. Which you have to get. They don't come with it. Parachute, like I said. That, that, that. And then you get these. This thing. It's a bit strange, but anyway, you get this. I'll take it, it's a guardrail. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna have a go at building it. 
Okay guys, I built the rocket, we had some difficulty bits, but I overcome those and I've done it. Here it goes. Dun 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 It's huge. There it is. And that's the launch guide rail. The uh, the base itself was easy enough to build, but the rocket engine bits, the um, I found the housing coupling section that was hard work. The rest of it was pretty easy, and I lost like some O ring, which is that bit there. It was stuck in in this section here. I was like, oh, where is it? I might have to make one. But anyway, but what I've done for added uh, strength, I've actually glued the uh, fins in. Because they didn't like the way they were sat in, they just kept sort of popping back out. And then uh, I'm just hoping that that's not glued. You know, there's a little bit of glue there. It should be all right. Uh, so the good thing is you can alter the angle with this nut underneath here. See that nut there? Under that net, it moves. So the next video is going to show you how good it is. See if it really does fly. See if it does go up to nearly a thousand feet well 900 so stay tuned chaps it'll be on its way this is ignition system test one rc truck with rocket mode standing by ignition in five four three two one ignition oh, <laughs> This is it on recovery. Standing by. Okay. <laughs> Coles Copters was sponsored by Gladwex. Dog grooming and spa boutique in Southport. Don't forget to give them a shout and give them a try.